I know they just want a better life. And that, that's, that's where I'm torn, you know, because people just want a better life. But they still have to do it the right way. As the 10 year anniversary of the murder of Jocelyn Johnson's husband, Houston police officer Rodney Johnson approaches, she continues to grapple with the state of the immigration system. He should have been taken to jail the previous times, uh, or he thought he should have just been given a ticket by Rodney. When Juan Leonardo Quintero fatally shot Johnson in 2006, authorities did not immediately have a firm grasp on Quintero's identity, let alone that he had a criminal record and had crossed over from Mexico illegally for a second time. Investigators said Quintero, who had lived a dozen years in the states, eluding detection, was working under his wife's social security number in his job as a landscaping foreman, knowing Houston police were forbidden to ask his citizenship status, he says he never carried a photo ID. When we don't have no papers, I mean, we can give you a different name. Um, all they can do is give the, uh, the um, fingerprints. Quintero first crossed the border illegally from Mexico in 1994. Local and federal authorities became aware of Quintero's identity in 1998 when he pleaded guilty to charges of indecency with a 12-year-old girl. The following year, he was deported to Mexico and told that he would face 10 to 20 years in federal prison if he were caught again in the U.S. But after just seven months, he was back in Houston. For years, he managed to stay out of trouble. That was until September 21st, 2006, when Johnson stopped him for speeding. I wasn't worried about deported. I was worried about uh, being put in prison. After Quintero failed to produce identification, Johnson handcuffed him and put him in the back of his patrol car. But Quintero had a gun hidden in his pants that Johnson didn't find. And when Rodney got back to the car, he had, he had the gun while he was handcuffed and shot Rodney, uh, I believe, once in the shoulder and then four or five times in the back of the head. Johnson was able to call for backup before he lost consciousness. Quintero quickly confessed to Johnson's murder but pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. The case sparked outrage in the community. The day Jocelyn Johnson buried her husband, the Houston police chief met with U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement to pledge policy changes and more cooperation moving forward. In 2008, a jury found Quintero guilty of capital murder and sentenced him to life in prison without the chance of parole. I thought that was a slap in the face. Um, Although he's in jail for the rest of his life, we have to pay for this man live in jail for the rest of his life. You know, the taxpayers. And I felt that he, sh he deserved his eye to die just like Rodney died. The case also became a flashpoint in the 2010 gubernatorial race, in which then Governor Rick Perry defeated his challenger, the mayor of Houston at the time, Bill White. In the past, Bill White supported sanctuary city policies that made it difficult for officers to safely do their jobs. I trust Governor Perry to secure our safety. Johnson says she has no regrets about doing the ad, and she says the case only reaffirmed her belief in legal immigration. By them coming in legally, we don't know if they're criminals because we don't know who's here. We don't, we don't have any way of knowing who's here, and that, that's the issue. If people would do it the right way, like this country was formed on, immigra on migration from other countries, but they do it legally, become citizens. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what this, this, this country's a melting pot. But you have to do it the right way. A way that may have meant Rodney would still be here today. In Houston, this is Alana Rocha reporting for the Texas Tribune.